The next way to fly a VOR approach is by using DME instead of timing. Of course, if you have an actual DME receiver in the plane, it's a no-brainer to use that. However, in the United States, many planes do not come with a DME receiver. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to substitute GPS distance for DME distance. And the 530 gives us a very nice way to do it um, because it shows the distance to the tuned VOR here in this little window and we can substitute this GPS derived distance for DME distance under FAA rules. If you're watching this from Europe and you're flying under EASA rules, you cannot do this, ignore it, you have to use a real DME radio. And if you don't have a 530 that has this neat little window here showing you the distance to the tuned VOR, what you can do is you can just put the VOR in a direct two and then just use the GPS distance readout of uh, the direct two mode. So if I put GSO in here, that will give me the same readout as the window on the 530. Here we go, Greensboro VOR, and here's 6.7 on the 430, and here's 6.7 on the 530. So those are perfectly legal DME substitutions under FAA rules, and we can use the DME substitution to define uh, the final approach fix and the missed approach point. So the approach briefing remains almost the same. The primary nav aid remains the Greensboro VOR, final approach course 173, it's a radial outbound of the Greensboro VOR. Altitude until final approach fix 3000, then minimum circling category A 1320. Missed approach remains the same. And um, the only difference now really is we're going to def uh, define chail by 8.0 DME of Greensboro, we're going to define Nadal by 18.5 DME Greensboro, and we're going to define the missed approach uh, point by 23.4 DME Greensboro. So, let's fly it. I'm going to uh, reset the stopwatch from our last attempt. So we are looking for an 8.0 readout here on the distance window, which will define chail, and then again fly 3000 until 18.5 Greensboro, down to 1320, wait for 23.4 DME. So now you can see that the 8 DME readout coincides, of course, with the 2904 crossing radial, which we used before. So no surprise there. Let's go down to 3000. Note I'm not resetting the CDI this time. I mean, I could to have the crossing radial as a backup to my DME distance. Nothing wrong with that. But obviously this time around I'm using the distance here instead of timing. So if you only have a 430, just put it into direct two to the VOR and use that as the DME radar. waiting for 18.5. Uh, we are right now at about 10. 9.9, 10, here we go. So 8.5 miles to go. Again, I'm going to slow down to 90 knots. Below 110, I can set flaps 10 degrees. I'm going to set myself up so I fly 90 knots, flaps 1. That means when I switch off the autopilot, I will receive a trimmed airplane 
from the autopilot that flies hands off at 90 knots. Though this time it is not critical that I fly exactly 90 knots because, right, because I'm not using the timer. I'm not using the timer, so it's not critical to fly the exact speed uh, because we're going to define the missed approach point by the DME readout, or in this case, the GPS substitute for the DME readout. Since this time you don't need to see the stopwatch, I can make the chart a little bigger, make it easier to read for you. There you go. So again, I'm going to uh, check uh, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop flaps and switches, I'm going to set flaps 10, below 110 I can do that, and try to set myself up for 90 knots, and flaps 10, receive a trip the airplane from the autopilot, that's the goal. Give myself as little work on the final approach segment as I possibly can. Right now at 13 and a half, five miles to go, 18 and a half defines the final approach fix. And I'm just going to put the 430 up for you here, make it easier for you to read. miles, three and a half miles to go. Again, at the missed approach point, I will commence the descent at about six to seven hundred feet per minute down to thirteen twenty, and then I'm going to hold thirteen twenty until I either see the runway or I arrive at the missed approach point, which is at twenty three point four DME. Of course, I can also start the stopwatch and just have it running, but. Uh, really no point to that because the DME or in this case the GPS readout is just so much more precise. 17, one and a half miles to go. See, we're there also by the crossing radial down on CDI number two. Eight 
18.5 final approach fix. Commence descent. Down to 1320. Waiting for 23.4 DME. break it off right here and uh, demonstrate to you the next way, the third way to fly this approach. <laughs> 